Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I promised to do this video, so aside from all the controversy going around Marilyn Manson right now, uh, you know, I debated whether or not to do it um, to show the collection that I have. Just bad timing, I guess. But, uh, you know, to me, it's all about the music. I'm not here to talk about, you know, the accusations that he's dealing with and, you know everything going on with that so i will leave that to the uh other facebook groups or tabloids or anything else you want to go and read about what he's being accused on i'm not here to speak about that i'm just all about the music so uh there's a lot of records i got to show but uh i'm gonna do it so let's start off with uh portrait of an american family this is the first Marilyn Manson album, and uh, this is a bootleg on green vinyl, and it sounds pretty good. Not as good as the original, but it's not bad. I mean, the lyric sheet is very similar to the original. It's very, I don't know if you can tell, the graphics are very uh, pixelated in it. Um, but I don't want to spend, you know, all day talking about this pressing. The cover is, uh, again, not as not as crisp, clear as, as the original pressing. Uh, but it's a, it's a double, double LP. And it sounds pretty good. It's on green vinyl. Probably the best sounding of the bootlegs that I've heard. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, nothing's going to beat the, the original pressings. Um, so that's the first one and just decided to, you know, start it off with a bootleg copy. Okay. And now we're going into original pressings. Here's an original pressing of... Portrait of an American Family. And this one is, uh, I'm not gonna, you know what, I'm not gonna open it up. It's got the insert. It's very similar to the, to the bootleg. Uh, simply vinyl, limited edition. And it's a double LP on black. Some I'll open, some I won't. Um... Just because I got so many records to show here. But that's the first album. This is when I started listening to this band. When they were a band. Uh, and then they came out with an EP. This is an original pressing on Simply Vinyl. And it's limited edition. Let me take it out of this plastic here so you get a better view. And this is a Miss Press. Sounds excellent, but on the spine it says, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see the focus. Anyways, it says mechanical animals on the side. I don't know how they screwed that up, but it's a mispress, but it sounds really, really good. Just like all the original pressings do of this band. Um, so yeah, that's uh, their EP, not an album, it's an EP called Smells Like Children. And it, it, this, this features, you know, remixes and uh, cover songs from Portrait of an American Family. So it's a really cool release. I really like it. It's very trippy sounding, psychedelic. Next is an original pressing. This is a simply vinyl version of Antichrist Superstar, the second album. And it's a gatefold. This uh, this pressing sounds just phenomenal. There's the gatefold. And this one's on black vinyl. There's no inserts that came with this, but it's on black vinyl. It's got the shock labels. And uh, yeah, that's how it looks. And this is excellent sounding. 
It's got to be from the, uh, I think it's from the master tapes. It's just so good sounding. You know, I, when I listen to this, I hear, it's, it's exactly with the, pretty much all the original pressings, like even with Portrait, you hear sounds that you never would have heard before uh, when you listen to just the CD or or an uno unofficial pressing. Um, so I believe this is from the Master Tapes. I guess it was, you know, cut before that whole thing about Trent Reznor losing them. Um... But yeah, this is uh, original pressing of Antichrist Superstar. And then we got an official pressing of Antichrist Superstar here. This is the Hot Topic uh, limited to 1500 worldwide. This came out, I think, in 2013. And this is uh, another gatefold. This sounds pretty good. It's a beautiful pressing. I mean, love how it's you know, different, a different gatefold there. And it's got a, a nice insert, lyrics, and a picture of them. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I enjoy listening to this one, you know. Not as much as the official, uh, original, sorry, pressing. But it still sounds good. This is on opaque red. Beautiful custom center labels. And yeah, this is, uh, I was glad to purchase this when it came out. Because, man, these official pressings just go for stupid money now. Um... And I mean, with all the, the stuff going on with him, I'll be very shocked if uh, we ever see this supposed vinyl box set now or any represses for that matter, um, which kind of sucks. Uh, I was really looking forward to seeing a box set, you know, a nice big box set of all his records, all his albums. But I mean, doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, next up is an official pressing of Mechanical Animals, his, his third album. And this one's cool. It's got a... Uh, so this isn't the, the first pressing. It's a repress, but it's an official press. And it's cool. It's on two different jackets. And the track listing is uh, different from the CD, and I really like it. Um, this one, yeah, it's got the inserts. I know the, the, the original pressing of this album is, I think, on blue and, and white vinyl. But I just got this. This repress just sounds absolutely fantastic as well. Um, I think they actually use the same lacquers. The same stampers as the original pressing because it sounds absolutely phenomenal but this one's just on black vinyl and uh very quiet you know very dynamic you can hear everything going on in the songs and uh i was very very happy with it so i never bothered picking up uh an original pressing because i missed my chance and when they repressed this, I was like, you know what? This sounds really good. So I'm just going to keep this one and not worry about getting an original pressing. I mean, I, I might one day, but I don't see the point if I'm already happy with this. And it's an official, it's an official pressing. And there's the Omega symbol during that time. All right, next record I'm going to show you is this. This probably uh, over time it's become probably my favorite record by by Marilyn Manson, and it's uh, Hollywood. This came out in 2000. Hollywood in the Shadow of the Valley of Death, 
Here's the back. It's the official first pressing. And this one also is beautiful gatefold. Got the tarot, tarot cards, tarot cards, tarot cards, however you want to call it. I think that's how you pronounce it. No inserts, but it's on just a black vinyl. And this one sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, I saw him live many times throughout uh, the 90s. All the way back in 1994 and then up to this album and then a little bit after this album and then I kind of I kind of stopped going to his concerts when uh, I noticed that from looking at live video footage online he he just went through a phase where he didn't really sound as good as as he did and I think it was to do with the uh, the, all the drugs and the apps he got really heavily involved in uh, drinking absinthe and I think that messed up his voice because he just I don't know he started to just not sound as good after they toured for this or I think after they toured for uh, Golden Age of Grotesque was when his voice started to really just not sound as good as it used to live live anyways he's always sounded great on record always so after that is, this is a bootleg, and it's pretty good sounding. It's uh, the last tour on Earth, and it's pretty cool. Did a really nice job at this bootleg. Sorry, unofficial pressing. It's not a gatefold, but it's got a nice glossy cover. And uh, double LP. And it's on this like reddish kind of purple pink colored vinyl. It's got a little bit of uh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's a little. It's got a little bit of the marble marble vinyl going on there, marble texture looking. But uh, yeah, this one uh, doesn't sound bad at all. It sounds pretty good. Um, for a bootleg, you know, I mean, if there was an uh, official release, I would have grabbed that, but it's never been officially released on vinyl. So this will do. Um, I'm happy with it, you know, it doesn't sound bad at all. You just maybe, you know, adjust your, your bass a little bit, a little bit higher and, uh, turn up a little louder and it sounds okay. All right, next up is, is a bootleg copy of Golden Age of Grotesque. And this one, again, this doesn't sound bad. It's very, uh, very comparable. It's not as good as the original pressing, but it's, it's still, you know, it's, it's decent sounding. It doesn't sound bad. It's very listenable. Um, I heard earlier pressings of this bootleg did sound bad, and but they weren't gatefold. So this is the gatefold one. It's got a nice, beautiful gatefold there. And uh, they fixed, I guess, the issue that was going on, because apparently the, the first pressings of this that were released as unofficial copies really didn't sound good. But this double disc gatefold one on red vinyl, if you can't get, I mean, the original pressing goes for stupid money now, but if you don't have that and you want to get this on record, on vinyl, I highly recommend getting this one. Get the gatefold one on red. Um, the unofficial ones that aren't a gatefold, they just, I heard they just sound horrible, especially side A. I heard there's a lot of problems with side A for those ones. So stay away from those. Um, but yeah, this one is, uh, sounds pretty damn good. Golden Age of Grotesque. I think this came out in 
2003, I'm going to say. <clears throat> All right, next record I'm going to show you is, this is an official pressing of Golden Age Grotesque, and this sounds absolutely phenomenal. Um, again, it's crazy expensive to get this now. I paid quite a bit too, but I really, you know, wanted to get a copy of this album. And, uh, there's a track listing. It's a really good pressing. And it's got very nice inner sleeves that the bootleg doesn't have. There. And, uh, I'll show the records in a sec. Just put those back. And this is on black vinyl. Double LP. Nice custom center labels. And, yeah. You can get this for a decent price. I highly recommend it as... It's the best sounding copy you can own of this album. Just like all the other official releases. They sound way better than the CD. Um, again, you know, I hear sounds like, especially with uh, Madonna Wayne Gacy's uh, synthesizer sounds, you hear things, man, that you do not notice on the CD. Um... The separation in the, in the instruments is just awesome. And uh, it's like listening to these albums fresh from the start again, almost. Next album I'm going to show you, this is uh, probably the worst of the bootlegs or unofficial copies. It's uh, Eat Me, Drink Me. But again, it doesn't sound bad at all. You just... Adjust the bass a little bit on your, your amplifier and uh, turn it up a little bit because it's a little bit quiet and it sounds pretty damn good. But I would say this is the worst sounding one out of all the official pressings. And this comes with uh, an insert, a poster. Very nice. You know, again, the the care and quality they do, though, with these bootlegs is pretty good. I can't complain, you know, when there's not an official release on vinyl, this is uh, as good as it gets, right? And this one's on a nice, beautiful pink. And nice custom labels that suit the era. But yeah, that's uh, Eat Me, Drink Me. Not one of his best albums. You know, this was when he was going through a lot of, uh, a lot of crap with uh, relationships. It's like a relationship album. He talks about a lot of that stuff, you know, that was going on in his life then with, with, uh, with women. With the women in his life, in his life. So yeah, that's Eat Me, Drink Me. Again, you know, underrated album, I think, but definitely not one of his best. It's still a great album. Um, I like all his albums. And the next one is an underrated album, and it's also a bootleg, and I think it's the last of the bootlegs. And that's High End of Low. And this is a great album so underrated i don't know why people give it so much hate again he was in a messed up time in his life when he was you know writing this album but it's a great it's, it's a great uh this is a great unofficial copy there's no official copy of this and uh i highly recommend it this one also comes with a insert poster there. Pretty cool. And yeah, I highly uh, 
If you don't have this on vinyl, this, this copy sounds excellent. Definitely worth picking up. So this one's cool. It's got the first disc is on this like uh, aqua blue color. It's got neat custom labels. And uh, the second disc is like this pukey, ugly kind of green. Well, it's not too ugly. It's it's not bad, but it's uh, you know, it's not bad. Um, interesting colors. But, uh, they sound great. So I highly recommend this one. Again, it's a nice glossy jacket. And, uh, you can find this for a decent price. Pick it up. Because who knows how long, who knows how long these are going to be around for. Available for, um... Because we'll probably never see an official release of this album now with uh, all the stuff that's going on with Manson and uh, the Accusers. But again, I'm not going to get into that. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just about the music. Which is what it's always been about with me. Next album I'm going to show you is an official release, and it's Born Villain. And not a bad album. It's got some really great songs on here. Um, does it say when this came out? 2012. Born Villain. I think those, this is the first album that uh, Twiggy came back in the band, too. And yeah, this is a gatefold as well. Show that. Got a cool picture of him there. And is there an insert? I don't think there is in this one. Nope. So I'll just show the record. It's a center label. Just on black vinyl. Sounds great. Official pressing. I like it better than Eat Me, Drink Me. I think Eat Me, Drink Me is probably his worst album. Or my least favorite album, I should say. Um, but again, it's not a, Eat Me, Drink Me is not a bad album. But this one's just, I think, a little bit better. Um, yeah, Born Villain. Next album I'm going to show you is... The Pale... Emperor, and this came out in 2015. Great album. I think this one has a bunch of cool inserts inside. It's a gatefold, and it's got these uh, this picture here. I think like you can peel it off, uh, but I didn't. I'm just gonna keep it like the way it is. Pretty, uh, it's got a weird texture to it. And then, uh, some notes there. And this one is, uh, the first disc is white. It's pretty nice. And even the cover is like, uh, this picture here is 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 like a, it feels almost like it's pasted on a jacket. It's very very interesting. I don't think I even have another record that that's like that. Even the back image here, it feels like it's like a, like it's not part of the 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 cover. It's like almost like it's glued on. So it's interesting. And then. Uh, 
Yeah, even the gatefold is like that. And the inside of these pictures are, uh, I feel like they're, like you could almost like grab it and just rip it off, but I'm obviously not gonna do that. Um, and then the second disc I think is black. Oh no, they're both white. Wow. I thought they were white and black, but they're both white. And this one has another insert on this side for this two. And it's more of these uh, pictures that have a funky texture to them. There's one, and there's the other. See? Yeah, it's cool. Really good album. Really like uh, got back into form with this album. Definitely. Um, I really enjoyed this when it came out. And it's something that it's an album that I should really uh, it's been a while since I listened to it so I should really check it out again because I know I enjoyed it. But again, with these albums, like I never bothered, <clears throat> I never bothered going to see them live um, until some time after. It was sometime uh, it was during the Golden Age of Grotesque. I think it was after that album that I kind of stopped going to his concerts. <clears throat> Next album I'm going to show you is. Heaven Upside Down. This album was pretty good. Uh, it's got some great songs. It's, uh, it's a pretty good album. Saturnalia, that's a really great song. Uh, you know where you effing live. Um, yeah, I wasn't too big on the, on the singles. Satan, Satan and... Uh, and Kill For Me were, Blood Honey's really good. That's a great album, or that's a great song. But uh, yeah, no, it's an, it's an okay album. I don't think it's as good as uh, Pale Emperor, but still a good album. And this one is on Black. It's got the Loma Vista record labels there and uh, comes in that but yeah it's a pretty good album it's got some good songs and some uh, I wouldn't say bad songs but just okay songs the singles I didn't find too crazy but uh, the deep cuts on this album are pretty good. So there's that. We're almost at the end, guys. And here's another copy of it. I think this is the limited edition one I got. I don't know how many there were. they tested this or how rare it is or anything. But uh, same inserts and everything. But this one is on a red red vinyl, red opaque, like the uh, Hot Topic version that came out of Antichrist Superstar in uh, 2013. Yeah, this is, uh, I was excited when this one came out. But I was most excited for the next one which is his latest album. And I think it's his best album since Hollywood. And you guys probably know what I'm talking about because it's probably the way things are looking and might even be his last album. But that's <clears throat> We Are Chaos. 
his newest release and absolutely phenomenal album he did this one with shooter jennings um <laughs> i mean every song on this album is great and it grows on you the more you listen to it comes with this cool insert let's see you got it the right way there we go He did the paintings, as you probably all already know. If you've come this far in the video, that Manson does his own uh, paintings using watercolor. And so he did the paintings for, for this album. It's probably, probably his most personal album too, this one. There's the insert the vinyl comes in and this this version is just on black my stomach is grumbling i'm hungry <laughs> you probably have heard it you might have heard it actually in the video i don't know i don't know if the speaker would have picked it up <laughs> but yeah there's that version and then i got the uh red black and blue version and that's this right here and this one can't comes in like this like uh i don't know how to explain it it's a shiny foil cover i guess you can say and i don't like to touch it because it keeps your fingerprints on it but it's pretty neat very shiny and this one's a gatefold and the interesting thing about this one is uh yeah, it comes with the same poster this one the insert here when you smell it it smells like perfume and it smells really nice but the vinyl itself looks really cool look at that very very cool and uh, they call it the red, black, and blue version. And yeah, it really uh, smells like perfume. Probably did that because there's a song on this album called Perfume. I think that the record was here. Yeah. Okay. And with this one, I forgot to grab it, so I'm going to go grab it now. And I never opened it, and I probably never will, because they call it the Destroy to Open. I'll be right back. This right here, it's a seven inch. It's called the destroy to open where you, it, it has no like it's got the 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 wrap on it but um if you remove that it has no slit to take out the record you actually have to like take a knife and and cut it open so it's called the destroy to open seven inch that came with the red black and blue edition and uh I'll never open this. I'm always going to keep it sealed because it's just, uh, I think it's got the, the, the title track, the first single, We Are Chaos, and then some kind of remix of it on here, um, which I think you can listen to on YouTube anyways. But anyways, that is my Marilyn Manson vinyl collection. Thank you for joining me and uh, watching this. Um, pretty long video, but... Uh, yeah, we're at 30, almost 35 minutes. So I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you again soon. Have a good day.